All right, guys, it's another episode of the 94 Jeep YJ. Uh, probably it's going to be one of the last ones because we are getting close to finishing this series because, you know, this Jeep was not supposed to be completely restored. It was just supposed to be repaired so it can go back on the road. And we're getting pretty close to that point. As you know, the frame is now completely repaired. The brakes are done, the rear suspension is done, the front suspension is done, all springs have been changed. So now what's left is to actually assemble all the plastics here. We have to put some, some rubber here and here and uh, all over the place. We need to install the front bumper. But before we do that, as you know, we have some troubles with lights. Not everything is working and we're going to look at that today because i want to be able to access from underneath and wires and stuff like that so first we're gonna fix the lights and then we're gonna finish assembling everything i already started working a little bit on the lights before i actually started repairing the frame here in this garage after i moved the jeep because i don't know why i was waiting for parts or i don't know why but i started doing some stuff and i'll show you this footage first and then we're gonna keep going from this point So let's check first what works, what doesn't. We have the ignition on and we have the park parking lights on. Nothing is on here. We have one tail light working. Now here is this the high beam or low beam, I don't know. But here we have just parking light in this position of the switch. Uh, signals we have a left signal right now, and this belt. Oh, okay, this belt goes on. This is the one for the fender here. Oh, well, we have so left signal. We have one, two. We don't have this one working. Right signal. We have absolutely nothing. So here, this wire is broken, but this doesn't work and we don't have anything on the back. Well, most of it might be bulbs, but let me show you something else. What I don't understand is this. Now we have the lights on. Okay, let me turn the lights off. This is on because I have a leak on the brakes, which we have to address later, so that's normal. Uh, when I turn the lights on, we have the left signal also on here and not flashing and the left signal is not on when i turn it on this is what happens now the left signal is on and it is flashing now it's off right signal that's what happens so there's something wrong somewhere but we will find out also what bugs me is all this here i don't know where that goes but it looks like it is part of the original harness. I don't know what this is as well. But also here in the front, this Jeep used to be a snowplow. So somebody added some harnesses here for the snowplow, I guess. I think that's where I'm going to start with. I'm going to start removing stuff because this comes here. Look, when I move this harness, the additional harness here, this is what moves here. And when I look at it, it has a plug for it has a plug for the headlight but we already have a plug on this headlight which is virtually the same let me see yes, yes this fits here i don't know but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start removing all this all this unnecessary wiring and we're gonna clean it up and try to bring it back to the factory because inside as well, there was, there's this switch, which I believe is also part of this other harness for the snowplow. And I believe this is it. I'm pretty sure this is the harness. You see, it goes there and into that hole goes through the bulkhead so 
all these here, additional wires. So we're gonna have to remove and start from scratch. All right, I untangled a little bit this mess of wires here. And what I think happened is this is the original plug for the headlight, for this headlight. But they unplugged it from the headlight and they plugged in this harness into it, which feeds this harness that goes inside with the switch and then also the original headlight is powered by this again and then it goes i guess for the other side for the headlight and also this that plugs into the snow plow i hope they didn't cut any wires they just did that because this is like a kit i guess a plug and play kit so let's unplug this plug it into the headlight remove this and go from there yeah easy to say right yeah definitely so now this should go there I'm not sure what this is I don't know, let's undo the signal light oh, okay, so, so they tapped here into the uh, into the signal light so they can put it on the plow as well I hate this ah. Now we know why this is not working. <laughs> We're gonna have to make sure these are still in one piece and isolate them later. So here, somebody already connected the original plug for the headlight and this is the aftermarket one and this is i guess the yeah and this is the one that we just disconnected from the signal light and now we can remove everything and to remove it i'm just gonna cut it from here and pull it out there you go same thing here and I'm gonna cut this out from here oh my heater my heater turned off finally and now here we don't need this anymore I'm gonna cut it over there And now both lights work. Well, don't mind the smoke. <laughs> the smoke is not from the car, it's from my girlfriend's hey. smoke. <laughs> Anyways, well, I'm showing a video of electrical parts here, and then all of a sudden there's smoke coming. <laughs> okay, so that helped a little. So we have to do a lot more troubleshooting for the wiring for the electrical components but uh, we're gonna stop with this for now again because my part for the F-150 came so we're gonna switch again and we're gonna get back to this project a little bit later okay so now that you know what we've done in the past let's continue from there here on the bench I have all the lights that I purchased as far as I remember I ordered new tail lights new uh, headlights and stuff like that so let's open these goodies here and see what we have all right so we have new headlights and they look nice and shiny it's all cheapo stuff it's not uh, something fancy schmancy I hope they they work well we have new tail lights too and they have the license plate illumination underneath 
but they don't have these side marker lights which i'm surprised but again i said like i said there are some cheap lights so not much to be expected and these are for the fenders they are a little bit bigger than what i had there so let me check if this fits on the fender here like a glove perfect okay and then we have those signals that go on the side let me see that goes here I can show you the other the other side but that's for here and here i don't know why i ordered these i i meant to order these but it looks like they are different so unfortunately these are wrong and we'll have to order the correct ones for now we're gonna have to deal with what we have eh. okay so we have one two three four four out of five are correct <laughs> so anyways let's install them and then we're gonna see what works what doesn't because now some of these work some don't but i'm not sure if it is the actual fixtures or there's no power coming to them so we're going to figure that out. This screw is pretty rusted, but this is for the adjustment. We're going to have to make it go back and forth because we're gonna have to adjust those lights and we better make it move now because once I install the new headlight I'm not gonna have access to this again so now we're gonna do some WD-40 so this is for the vertical adjustment and this is not gonna move as well so, you know what here on the back they're held with some they are actually going into plastic clips and these how how are they seized into plastic i have no idea but i already broke one so one is broken and i'm gonna i'm just gonna break the other one too and i'm gonna put washers and nuts here there you go Okay, so we're gonna have to keep these and we're gonna use them again, but we're gonna put a washer and a nut on the other side of the sheet metal just to keep them there. And that's how it's gonna work, I guess. Now here on the other side, the, the Phillips head doesn't work very well, but the thing is there's a hex here on this side. I don't know what size, but we're gonna figure it out and we actually can adjust the lights from this side instead of this light this side you don't need to remove the whole fascia here you can adjust the lights from behind that's good so we're gonna keep these for now and we're gonna turn our attention to the bucket now that we're here i'm gonna clean it and paint it and we're gonna put it back on the car in a better shape than what it is now the problem is i don't have any more rust converter i need to go and buy Again, I used all the rust converter on the frame. Okay, for this side I got smarter and I'm using the hex on the back, which turns out to be four and a half millimeters. And, and they come out.
All right, I'm not done with the second bucket yet. I really want to clean it up and paint it so it can dry, but I'm impatient and I want to see how everything is going to work here. So as you can see, everything is plug and play. There's no wiring that needs to be modified. So let's see if everything works. I hope, but we will see. So here on YJ's, the light switch is designed so you can turn only the parking lights or marker lights or whatever you want to call them. And if you press this, then the headlights come on. But if you press down, everything comes off. So let's try half lights first. Ooh, even this one came off. Oops, not really. Okay, these ones are on, perfect. Let's try full lights. Whoa, <laughs> let it be light. Oh, these were the high beams, okay. So we have low beam and high beam. Oh my God, I don't know how well you can see, but it is, whew, it's really bright. Oh, that's good. This one is, doesn't make good contact or, well, the other one won't come on. We have to solder this. Okay, let's try, let's turn these off and let's try signals. Okay, left signal works. Yo, right signal works too. So we are actually good. Huh. I don't need to modify anything on the wiring. I thought I had to fix wiring here, but looks like front end, we are perfectly good. As long as we fix this one, we're gonna be good. At least the most important parts work. Yeah? So let me solder this. So let me solder this, clean up the buckets so I can paint them and they can have time to dry out. All right, this one works as well. The bulb was not good, but I took the bulb from there and now it works. So I need another bulb for that thing. Anyways, as long as it works, we're good. We can change this later. Uh, the wire was soldered and I put some shrink tubing there. So with the front end, we are fine. I'm just gonna paint those buckets, which I cleaned as best as I could. I'm just gonna paint them as they are. I'm sure they're gonna be 100% better than what I found there. All right, these are in primer now. I'm gonna throw some paint on them later. Just black paint, I don't have any other colors. And now, now that we know that everything electrically works fine here, let's turn our attention to the tail lights. Yes, 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 you're right. I'm sorry, guys, I'm forgetting something. <laughs> I'm forgetting about this one. Yeah, I forgot that I have extra lights here. But uh, yeah, let's look at them. But the thing is now, for these extra lights, I have two wires coming out, so this means that they are not, they don't have low beams and high beams, where these ones come with three wires, which I'm assuming is for high and low beams. So just to test this one, I'm gonna hook it up to one of the headlights and we will see how it works. This is the high beam. Yeah, this is the high beam. And this is the low beam. Oh, okay. So only half of it works for the low beam and the other half goes with the high beam. So that's how it is designed. But, okay, the thing is here though, I only have two pins and they are blue and black. And I don't even have a blue here, so so let's see when these ones come live. Actually, I have that other light, so let me plug, on, plug in that one and see. Okay, here with my power supply, we're gonna test this one. I shaft some welding wire here, so I can actually plug it in. 
Well, that draws a lot of power. 3 amp. And it dropped my voltage right away. I'm at 12.7. Let's go to 14. Which is more or less the alternator. Wow. More than 3 amp it draws. But anyways, it works. Let's plug it in there and see when it's going to come live. Okay, so these are the fog lights, which are you turn on from here but oh, okay they work even without anything else let me see nope so the fog lights on their own won't come on but even if you turn on half lights here which means only the marker lights now that's gonna come on right yes but here we have to get rid of this plug. I'm assuming we're gonna have to hook up together the yellow and the red so we can have both here. Let's test it. So I'm assuming the black is the ground and one is for one circuit, the other one is for the other circuit. No, actually the red one is for all of them. We're gonna use the black and the red, we're gonna ignore the yellow and that's how we're gonna do it. How much did it draw? Well, it draws pretty good amount actually for LED. It draws to amp. And it's half 0.7 or something. But no, we're gonna use the big lights. <laughs> we're gonna go big. So these actually came with the headlights, but we can use them here. We can just, again, we can use black and red. They match black, black, red, red. And here we're gonna cut these and we're gonna solder them to that end. And that's how we're gonna plug and play these. Great. All right. Uh, oof, that's right. Let me turn it off. All right. Now we are done with the front headlights with everything in the front. However, you're right. These connectors are very cheap and they're going to be inside the wheel wells. So we need to order something that is more like sealed connectors like these. Uh, yes, I could have used this one, but the thing is, the Jeep came with only one of these lights, the other one was missing, so I only have two females and one male. So, so I'm just gonna order new ones and we're gonna replace them at some point. These are just to get us going and to make sure that everything works. Now, looks like this one, okay, it's, sorry, <laughs> it just came out, 